Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. Today we are going to finish the demo project that we started a couple of videos ago by talking about online inference, oftentimes called real-time inference. So during the last video, we talked about the batch inference process in which we were using MLflow to retrieve a singular model from the model registry and then use this model, use this model to, to get petitions from a Pandas data frame. And that's basically batch inference. And we can get predictions for hundreds or maybe thousands of records. And why we can do that? Well, basically because there are no time restrictions. We might have hours, days, weeks, in some cases, even months to get those predictions. Basically, there is no rush. On the other hand, when we are talking about real time inference, um, we want the prediction uh, as soon as possible, right away. How do we achieve that? Well, we usually deploy the model to a um, serving endpoint, a rest endpoint, and we get the predictions to API requests. So today we're going to talk about that. Let me share the screen. The first um, thing I'm going to do is to deploy the model. In this case, I'm going to deploy the model to a local server, my local machine, using MLflow. In a real use case, you probably want to deploy this to a cloud server so you can access the model through internet. How can we deploy the model to a local server using MLflow? It's very simple. It's just a command. We have to use MLflow, models, serve, specify the model you write. In this case, it's uh, models registered model and the latest version. Finally, we have to specify that this is not an anaconda environment. So that's everything. Um, no, yes, it's no conda. No conda. Now MLflow has deployed the model to my local machine. Now let's talk about the code to make the API request. Here I have a file called uh, online inference and I am using some of, the, some of the functions that I have used before. Get feature data frame to get my data, get train test score set, which basically is splitting my data into training, uh, testing and scoring um, data. In this case, I am going to focus only on scoring data. Of course, in a real use case, you will have to implement a different uh, logic. And then here, I am getting a single record from this data frame. Um, I am transforming that data frame into a JSON string. But I need a Python dictionary. So I am using json.loads to transform that JSON string into a Python dictionary. Let me show you how this looks like. Python uh, online inference. And here we are. We have a dictionary with columns, the name of the features, index, the particular record, and data, the actual features. Now, this dictionary has to be the value of a key called data frame split. And, and this is basically an MLflow requirement. So let's print how this looks like. Here we have data frame split columns data and index again this is coming from a data frame and this is uh, something that mlflow requires now let's make the api request uh, we have the base URI, my local machine and uh, the headers and the endpoint the endpoint is basically invocations and this is something that mlflow has specified um, to get predictions from the model. Then we're using request library to, well, to make an API request. In this case, it's post. Uh, that's basically everything. Let's run this code and get the prediction. Here we have the status code, the prediction, and the score. Of course, in a real use case, you will not have access to the target. You want to know the target, the label. But, you know, since this is a demo project, we can compare the, the prediction with the target. Let's run this code again. Uh, okay, here we are. 
status quo to finally, which means that it was successful. Uh, predictions um, zero in this case, and the target says that it's uh, okay, it's zero. So in a real case, in a real use case, you want to deploy this to a cloud server and uh, make an API request uh, to the internet, and you can do that um, easily with Databricks, for example. Maybe in another video I can talk about that. But for now, that's everything. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.